As Helldivers 2 hits peak after peak on Steam and PlayStation, it is clear this was not meant to happen. The devs are desperately trying to pump up new servers as quick as they can to meet demand. This was a small indie game that has blown up. I don't think we can truly understand the scale. We don't know the PlayStation numbers. Steam has hit half a million. With any successful game, comes successful merchandise. Helldivers 2 is a rich universe full of really cool designs, characters, and enemies. And it's about time we talk about the merch. We need a company that can create micro action figures around these characters to help liberate New Earth from your bookshelf. And I got news for you. We've got the perfect company already. So today I'm going to talk about why Mega Brands is the perfect glass slipper to fit Cinderella's shoe for this incredible game. And the best thing about it is history has already showed us that this is very possible. So I'm going to break down my ideas today. And I hope you enjoy. Liberty for all. So let's start from the beginning. If you're new to the channel and the brand Mega have been producing action figures for a long time. I could go on and on about the legacy and the beauty of Halo Mega products over 15 years of these insane figures. But I'm going to talk about everything else first. And yes, they do produce use baby blocks, but they have been making really detailed micro figures for, oh, I don't know, have you heard of Call of Duty, Game of Thrones, Witcher, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, He-Man, X-Files, Predator, Borderlands, God of War, Terminator, Star Trek, Pokemon, Hellboy, Assassin's Creed, and of course, the GOAT. It's time for the liberators of New Earth to take their rightful place in the Mega Catalog against so many epic characters. So aside from the fact that Mega can already construct insane buildings, bases, and vehicles, I've come up with three examples of characters that we would have to see from the Helldivers line. And there are already examples of these being made by the company. So of course, example one has to start with the Helldivers. We can't have a line without the brave men and women helping to protect our beautiful Super Earth. And these designs, although they are fairly similar to Halo, best represent in my mind Destiny 2. And Mega had the Destiny line for a long time. They created iconic molds of the Warlock, Titan, and Hunter, and so many iconic characters. And they continued for many, many years to a lot of success. There are still calls today to bring back the Destiny line, but maybe some of it could be reimagined into Helldiver 4. Example 2 is the Terminids. I hope I said that right and also wrote it down right on my notes. They are very closely represented to the Hive from Destiny 2 again, and also Xenomorphs. We've had an alien line in Mega back and forth. We've had Xenomorph eggs and random characters in the Black series of Mega, and we've gone all the way up to the Xenomorph Queen, which can clearly show how Mega can create large-scale versions of these creatures. A really good example is the Destiny Hive Horde attack set, which you can see this is a really nice set. Imagine if you got a Helldiver with his drop pod and four of the Tyranids. Oh, I said Tyranids. Terminids. They're so similar to Tyranids. I can't help the Warhammer come out in me. I could see a load of really cool hive busting sets and in mega form you can start with basic armory packs figure packs basic versus packs onto small scale vehicles large scale vehicles you can go all the way up and the furthest you can go is something like the cabal harvester ship from destiny and i think that's all just a really good example of how well mega can create aliens and strange creatures. They've actually had a really good track record of doing Particularly it. dragons from even a decade ago in Mega Bloks form right the way through to the Game of Thrones Daenerys dragon. An example three, the automatons, automatons, they best represent the Terminator figures. And we've had many really iconic Terminator sets and mechs throughout the years. If you want to talk about Terminators, look at the T-1800 pack. And then if you want to talk about mechs, you can start with the Mark I prototype from Halo up to the Cyclops, to the Mantis, even to the Genesis spider tank. Another good example is the Call of Duty Atlas mobile turret. There is so much we could do here. So. This is a little pitch, this is a little idea. I just wanna get the ball rolling. The initial poll I did a couple of hours ago seems really positive. Let me know down below what you would like to see. You can tell my Helldivers knowledge is not extensive. It's still not out on Xbox. So I would love a Helldivers player to let me know down below how this would be best fitted into the Helldivers universe. Maybe if this video does well and gets some traction, I'll do some concept art. Maybe I'll pin and share some of your comments to get the ball rolling more. If this is something that trends well, if the interest is clearly there in the comments down below, as the brand ambassador for Mega, I will do my best to get that word to them. Remember, these things take a long time to develop, but I think we should get the ball rolling. I mean, Malevolent Creek isn't gonna liberate itself. We gotta get to Mega. We gotta start producing these sets and help liberate together. Thanks so much for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed this kind of format. And as always, you stay awesome, you stay safe. Let me know down below how much you wanna see Helldiver sets or if there's another IP Mega should explore soon. Domizzle in the Loft Hizzle, signing off.